Good evening, everybody. Six days after two young men went missing on the Ohio River, one of their bodies is found floating. A volunteer on a jet ski found the body of 19-year-old Marty Staniford this afternoon, but his friend Cameron Berger is still missing. Local 12's Brad Underwood spent most of the night with search teams. The search for Cameron Berger's body wrapped up a short time ago. Hours earlier, a volunteer found the body of Marty Staniford along the Ohio side of the river across from Augusta, Kentucky. Six days after the two friends were reported missing, one of their bodies has been found. The body of 19-year-old Marty Staniford was discovered around 2 p.m. Friday afternoon. The rest of the family stayed here. Aunt Sherry, his dad, and his brother uh, all went down to meet with the investigator. It was at that point the family had to identify Staniford's body to police. Pam Christian knew Marty his entire life and says the family stayed strong this week trying to remain positive. We have felt like that we were going to have some type of resolution. Unfortunately, this was not the resolution we wanted, but the search has covered about 100 miles of the Ohio River. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources says while they don't know exactly where the accident happened, they are confident it was near Dover, Ohio. You know, we're getting calls in that hey, I seen these these boys paddling their canoe in this spot, in this spot, and this, you know, we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And we're still doing that. Wearing red ribbons in honor of Marty and Cameron, both families will remain close to the river as this search continues. We are still looking for Cameron more than than ever because we felt like, you know, we just can't leave without Cameron. We just cannot. Troy Thompson with the Ohio DNR says there is more help coming. More volunteers are scheduled to be here this weekend. They need the help. They appreciate it, but a couple of pieces of advice. If you are going to be out on the river, always wear a life jacket and also stay away from the Meldal Dam. That area is restricted. There are people searching near the dam, but they have access to that area. In Higginsport, Ohio, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Marty Staniford worked at the Steak and Shake in Troy. He told co-workers that he was really excited for the canoe trip. They say he loved fishing and being out on the water. It's a real tragedy. I mean, I love Marty from the first time I met him. It was just, he's a good kid to be around. We're all, we're all heartbroken. Um, and, you know, everyone is showing lots of love and support, you know, towards their families. Crews will resume their search for Cameron Berger's body tomorrow morning.